Hi students, uh, in this video I will explain one more example for the exception handling and uh, multiple cat statements that are included in the program. So let us see the example for this, uh, one more example for the exception handling. So I am taking the general example, hash include I was stream using namespace std now writing the main program int main first declare the values int n1 n2 comma result so i have taken three parameters now i am printing the message like c out enter first number so whatever it means that you have to be entered the enter the first number C in that number has to be read after that C out enter second number enter second number that has to be read C in N2 now I am writing the try block so whatever the values I entered suppose if I entered the values which are uh, it's a like divided by zero or some exception or occurs so uh, without crashing the program it executes the program uh, normally by displaying some result means that is by displaying zero so whatever the values you are given suppose if you are given right values uh, you are given one or more values so for the two problem uh, for first time you have given correct input so it it displays some result second time it you are given some error condition so it displays uh, some result like it's uh, just zero like that okay so without crashing the program we are using these uh, keywords the try catch and throw to handle the exception and uh, try to execute the program in normal sequence so try if n2 is zero suppose whatever the value that I entered that is 0 if I entered now it throws n2 nothing but it throws the statement 1 so else suppose if n2 is not 0 whenever n2 is 0 it throws n2 that value uh, that will be throw n2 that will be catched by the catch block suppose n2 is not 0 this statement has to be executed. What is that result is equal to n1 by n2. So whatever the result that I have to be print C out. The result is print the result. Okay. I have written the try statement. Now I want to write the catch block. Why I have to write the clash box? So whenever, suppose if n2 is 0, exception will occur. That will be, the try will throw that exception. This exception has to catch the catch block. And the catch block will try to handle that exception. So that the program will execute in normal flow. So now I have to write the catch block. So let me write this catch block. here I am writing catch index so I had taken as an this is uh, this variable I declare it as a integer so instead of n2 uh, I am writing x because I can take any of the parameter so catch index c out so what I have to write here, can't divide by and that has to be print. So the catch block will be closed. So try is closed, catch is closed. So now I am I'm in the main program. So in the main program I have to print C out end of the program. So this is a program. 
what will be the output now first i enter the values enter the first number what i entered suppose i entered 45 now i enter the second number that is n1 is 45 entered second number that is 0 i entered okay first number is 45 entered second number is 0 suppose if n2 is 0 so n2 is 0 what it has to do throw the exception so throw n2 means it goes to this this block okay so now it prints this message can't divide so can't divided by and it can't divided by it will print and this x value it has to be printed so what is x value it takes it as a zero so 45 by 0 is not possible instead of crashing the program instead of getting the error it just displays zero end of the program okay so this is the output for these values let us see if i take another values second time i entered some uh, another values enter first number i entered 12 okay so n1 is 12 now enter second number So, enter second number that I enter is 20. So, here N2 is not equal to 0. So, it comes to this statement. So, result N1 by N2. So, N1 is 12. N2 is 20. So, numerator, denominator is more than that numerator. So, now the output is, the result is, it prints the, this. So, after n1 by n2, it prints the, the result. Instead of uh, can't divided by 0, the program enters into this statement. After this, it the throw try will enters into this here. Result n1 by n2. See out the result is. It prints the result. What is the result? Here it prints 0. Why it is printing 0? Because the answer is 0. Uh, we can't handle this condition. Uh, 20 by 12 means 0 point something it will get. So, that's why it just prints this 0. Next, end of the program. Suppose if you take in like 12 by 6 if you take. Suppose the inputs are 12 by 6 you have taken. It just prints the 2. The result is 2 like that. So, this is the how to handle the exceptions. So, if you enter the values like this 45 or 0, it just prints can't divided by 0 and that value will be can't divided by and it prints the 0. Suppose if you enter the another values, it prints like this. It enter into this block and it divides the values and it prints that the result is the result value. So, this is about the uh, another example for the exception handling. Now, let us see the multiple cache blocks. I said the try block contains only one, uh, one statement within the try block. Whereas, the catch can handle multiple catches in the same program. You can write multiple catch blocks in the same program. Multiple catch blocks. So, let us see the program how to handle, uh, how it handles the multiple catch blocks. Hash include IO stream. Okay. So, hash include IO stream. Uh, I'm just taking the multiple catch statement. Let me write. Using namespace std now i am writing the main program int main suppose int a is equal to 2 i entered now i am writing the try block so directly i am writing the try block just i entered the value i given the input int a is equal to 2 if a is equal to 1. 
so whenever if a is equal to 1 I have to throw an exception throw a it throws the throwing int expression exception sorry int exception here I am declared int here if a is equal to 1 whenever a is equal to 1 it throwing the uh, I have to print the message like int uh, throwing integer ex exceptions else else if a is equal to 2 I have to write throw a so this capital A I am writing here throw a means throwing character exceptions Within the try block only I am writing everything here because the try block uh, there are no multiple try blocks. So that's why I am writing everything in, in the only single try block. So if a is equal to 1 it throwing integer expression else if uh, a is equal to 2 it throwing character exception else if a is equal to 3 it throws 4.5 like that means throwing float exception so try block will be closed so here open i closed here in this try block i have written three statements one is throwing integer exception one is throwing character exception one is throwing float exception whenever i entered the values if i entered one value it shows throwing integer exception whenever I, a is 2 character a is 3 float so these statements will be catched by the multiple catch block this will be catched by one catch block another catch block another catch block so each catch block will handle this exception so here I am writing this catch block for this throwing uh, catch int a first integer catch int a it prints c out integer exception caught one catch is over this i am writing here multiple catches suppose if catch is character car ch what it has to be print c out character exception caught another cat statement if it is double d it prints c out double exception caught okay finally see out end of program close the main block so directly i'm closing the main block because for each catch statement i closed the braces so this is one catch statement and this is another catch and this is another catch now I am closing the main statement so what will be the output now suppose I entered the value uh, because I already entered not I am entering in the uh, screen I ha I already given the value starting of the program only int a is equal to 2 I entered so whenever I compile the program and run the program the output I am getting is character exception caught end of the program this message will be seen on the screen why i get this because int a is equal to 2 i already declared in the starting of the program so whenever int a is equal to a is equal to 0 a is equal to 2 means it comes to this function this uh, statement so it, it takes a is equal to 2 
throw a means it enter into this catch block and this message will be print character exception caught that is this character exception caught and end of the program suppose if i entered a is equal to 3 a is equal to 3 means directly it comes to this statement it prints double exception caught end of program so this is how to handle the multiple catch blocks in the program thank you